I've been building this RBS for a few months now and I've got all the way to the top and in the last episode I managed to get the balls to go all the way from here to here. Um, I can now reveal pretty much what all my plans are from now on. First thing I'm going to do is to build a flip-flop switch which will send the balls to the right and the left immediately when they get past this strut here. When they come to the right they'll come around this way, probably do something around here and then because everyone's been talking about this golden ratio and this uh, kind of Fibonacci curve, I'm going to replicate it. So I'm going to send the balls in a spiral all the way down there and spiral, 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 spiral and do something where the balls just go in an anti-clockwise manner down this beautiful series of slopes. One ball going all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. And when it gets to the bottom, it will shoot off and come to this section here, I think. Now just outside the groove I'm going to put a bell, it's going to be really low level and the balls will come along and hit the bell, announce their arrival at the bottom of the sculpture and then hopefully the balls will then fall into the wooden groove so that the next time the pusher comes round they'll get picked up and sent up to the top again. The other ball will come out of this side and immediately turn left, probably come through this gap or this gap and jump over the vertical pusher bit. So where the pusher has to come through, I can't send a track um, through to the outside. So I'm gonna have a little jump and a catcher, probably another catching net like this, probably in this corner above the bell. So I've now got one ball on the outside of the circle and one on the inside. So the outside ball will then go clockwise around the circle in a slow declining square or series of loops or it's just a long, fast kind of downhill slope. All, you, you, trying to use the maximum real estate that I've got. So all the way to the right, all the way to the back, all the way to the front, and kind of mimic this rising slope, but with the ball going down. So when you're stood at the front here watching it, you've got the pusher going anti-clockwise and the ball coming clockwise. Again, the ball will arrive at the bottom. It'll either do something and then hit the bell or it'll shoot along the bottom get smashed straight into the bell because I think the faster they go the louder it will be and the museum is already really loud so I'm quite enjoying the fact that I'm going to have this bell announce the arrival of the ball and again the ball the second ball will fall into the groove and produce a pair of balls here waiting to be uh, lifted up the sculpture again uh, the next time round that the pusher comes. So I think that's all my plans the first thing then is the switch so let's get started. Thank you. 
So I've done a little bit of soldering and got this nice piece of copper in here and another one at the back. The whole switch is removable. I can undo this nut, pull out the center rod and all the parts will fall, up, will fall out. That allows me to clean it and service it and add grease and anything like that. So it's the first time I've made a totally serviceable flip-flop switch. So I'm really pleased that I put the extra effort in to do that. It flops and flips a little bit too much at the moment, but that'll get fixed as soon as I build a track that comes in and limits the amount of flip and flop that it does. So I'm gonna build a little bit of track out to the right and not finish that yet. That'll be the one that comes down on the inside. But first of all, I'm gonna put a little bit of track out on this side uh, that will come to the edge here and um, give the balls somewhere to go when they get released off the top. did a little bit of testing and realized I needed to add this top piece of copper to stop the balls from shooting forward and jumping out the front. Once I fitted that, it all works perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this episode watching me make the rolling ball sculpture flip-flop switch. In the next episode I'm going to be doing the spirally thing down the inside so please subscribe and comment and like and share and I will see you next time for some more copper gravity rolling ball sculptures. Until then, bye!